Okay guys, it's me again and I'm here to show you how to delete permanent codes. If you live in California and you're trying to smog your car and your car may not pass smog because you have a permanent code in your uh, stored in your, in your computer and the smog technician may say that you can't pass because you have whatever permanent code in your system. So I'm about to show you how to uh, clear that code right now. Right now I have a Snap-on Modest, very expensive scan tool, but you don't need this scan tool. You can use any kind of uh, code reader or a uh, scan tool that may cost you maybe 80 bucks, like maybe 100 at the highest, I think. But uh, you can, I know, I'm pretty sure you can do it with a $40 scanner. You just need to be able to um, see the coolant temperature and the times the car has been um has been uh, turned on and reach the operating temperature since it was turned off after you drove it for maybe 30 to 50 minutes or after after you completed a driving cycle okay uh so this is this is what you can do after you fix the problem okay and um, otherwise, it's not going to work because then your check engine light may come back on and you're going to have to redo this again and again. And it, it's just not going to work. You can try it, but that's on you. Well, anyway, um, so here with the snap on, you go to OVD, which is this one. You have these three options. You go to direct OVD, and then you have this one. You go to start communication, and then you wait. You press continue, and then. You go to display current data. That's what you need. You, you have to find a scanner that can display display current data. I believe there's a code reader in eBay or Amazon called uh, C Crew Leader or C Crew Reader, I think. Um, and I th I'll try to link some scanners on the description of this video to help you guys out. Well, anyway, on the snap-on, you go here, which is the, actually the 1001, but here they have it as a, uh, have the, the dollar sign, a zero and a one. That's where, that's where you go. We just have to find the option where it displays the data of the vehicle. And this is what you're going to do after you drive it for 15 to 20 minutes, okay? So here the... Snap the scanner is collecting data, whatever. And then you're gonna look for this. You're gonna look for this where a uh, section where you have all this information from these sensors. And you're gonna look for the coolant temperature. Okay, and here, as you can see, uh, let me see, let me try to, I'm sorry about the blurry screen, guys. Here, it says, number of warm-ups since TDC is cleared. And I got on my right side, there's, it's 12. I've been doing this all night. I don't, you can do it, so... It's best to do it on a cold weather or at night. And so what you gotta do here the here's the engine coolant temperature. 
right now it's 118 degrees so that means i drove this vehicle for maybe i drove for maybe 20 minutes and it got closed loop and now it's now it's on closed loop so i now i i, I turn it off and i let the coolant temperature drop to 118 right now but you can let it drop down to 120 120 125 120 is the safest and then what you're gonna do right now this car it's off as you can see um this is my friend's car and he's having issues passing his mug and he was crying and because he didn't have money to to spend more um buy uh take it to the dealer dealership and have it cleared and he already bought a new battery and still the system doesn't um know that it has a new battery because of this because it has to go through this driving cycles and so you already got a ticket and whatnot you long story short he's in <laughs> he's in the hole right now so i'm trying to help him uh so here as you can see is the the, the cool temperature is 118 degrees so i'm gonna turn on the car I'm gonna step on the brake pedal, and I'm just oh this is a, this is a Prius, so this is how I'm gonna do it. You can it, every car is different. You don't have to. You just have to uh, if you if if you're doing this on a regular car, you just uh, step on the gas, make sure the car is unparked, and uh, you just lift up the RPMs up to 1500 or 2000 RPM to warm up the coolant. I'm sorry about the blurriness here. I'm just doing this with my phone. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. There you go. As you can see, the engine coolant temperature is increasing. And uh, as soon as it reaches 165, degrees the um i'll show you the the number of uh warm-up is gonna jump to 13 which is i'm gonna highlight it. this one is gonna jump to 13 whenever this one the engine coolant temperature reaches 165 we'll just keep an eye on it Right now the Prius is running. No check engine light. You, yeah. so we don't have a check engine light. Oh yes, and after this, uh, after you complete the 15 cycles, you have to drive the car for at least 200 miles, and that should clear the permanent code of the P 